Hey everybody, Adrian Alvey here with Save the Day Seasonings again. For your kitchen rescue today, we're doing breakfast. Uh, <clears throat> I was a breakfast cook for a number of years. Love doing breakfast and omelets are today our topic. So there's a few ways you can do omelets. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you want a nonstick pan. That's the number one thing, nonstick pan. Most of my nonsticks are looking for replacements. So the worse your nonstick is, or the, the uh, use a little bit more oil when you, uh, when you put the, the uh, before you put the eggs on. So, all right, so I have a little oil. I have a few ingredients. We have some eggs and some ham. We're gonna do ham and cheese omelet today, but you can do this with anything pretty much. Put additional vegetables or mushrooms, onions, peppers, all kinds of other stuff. So, a tablespoon of oil or so. Okay, so I have two eggs here. This will make a pretty good size omelet right here. And, you can use one to three eggs typically on an omelet. If you got somebody who really, really has a big appetite, three egg omelet is a lot of times what you'll find at restaurants. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or a couple of teaspoons of milk. What that'll do is help uh, add to the fluff factor when you're cooking the omelet. My pan should be nice and warm now. And there's a couple ways you can do omelets. One way is to put all the ingredients in here first and cook the ingredients, get them nice and hot, and uh, then add the eggs and you cook sort of the ingredients and the eggs together, which is more like a quiche sort of texture. But if you want to, you can put the eggs in first, you can let the eggs cook, put your ingredients on the inside and then flip it over on top. So either way, we're gonna be flipping it in half. But today I think I'll show you the cooking it all together. Uh, actually, you know what, I think I'll do it separate for two reasons. Number one is that it's only a two egg omelet instead of a, a three egg omelet, and this is a larger pan here, so it's gonna spread out a little bit more. Uh, and also, it's gonna make it easier, actually, or a little bit, bit more demo to be able to show you the, the flip. We'll yeah, I think so. so, people might enjoy. All right, so let's challenge. do the egg, so I'm gonna pour this in there. I notice you're using a fork so people don't need to vex themselves whether they have a wire whip or anything. Yeah, you can use a fork, a whip, and the really important thing here is to try to make sure that it's not like lopsided, half is cooking way faster than another. You can see it's going around the edges. You can pull it around like that if you need to. This one's cooking nicely. So what we're gonna do is, <clears throat> and actually I'm gonna put the ham and the cheese in there. That's what I forgot for other cheese. Cheese. Right, we want that good for a sec. Can't have eggs without cheese, right? I mean, what's an omelet without cheese, right? <laughs> now, even if you're vegan, there's lots of good vegan cheese options available nowadays. Now, you can see that that's nice and uh, cooked, but one thing about me and omelets is I don't, I'm not a big fan of the browned omelet. So you get it and the bottom is like super brown and cooked. Uh, I prefer it to be not real brown. Jessica, Jessica Newkirk's on. She said they literally just finished eating omelets. So. Oh my gosh, Jessica, awesome. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little cheese on there, a little ham, and then... Okay, let me take a look real quick and see how you did that. So you did it on half. Yeah. The flip part, it's a little bit hard here, but you just kind of reach over and just do a little flip. See, a little brown is really hard to avoid. Okay, but that's basically ready and that would be an indicator my heat's a little bit uh, high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, as you can see here, I've got the flame here and I'm gonna put it over the empty half here. Okay. So it's not gonna continue to brown as much while I melt that cheese. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little water in there, cover that up and basically what we're gonna do is steam that thing and it's gonna, if the egg was not super cooked, it'll co finish cooking it those ingredients that are inside, whether it be, now I don't recommend putting raw vegetables in there, but if you have some cooked or sauteed vegetables, you can put that in there. But it'll warm that meat up, so you don't have to worry about like that, I just put cold ham in there. So that'll mm -hmm. be fine, it'll be warmed all the way through. Uh, and so as you can see, I have uh, still keeping the heat on there, but it's not like Direct, right under, underneath the thing. So as I lift that up, you'll see, starting to melt a little bit there. Uh -huh. Uh, and but what that um, the water is really important in creating that moist steam inside and that helps to fluff up the eggs as well 
So if I just had put this lid on, which you can do, you can still melt the cheese like that, but the actual moisture actually just poofs that thing right up, and so it actually makes it nice and uh, what you typically like mm -hmm. in a in a fluffy omelet instead of a denser omelet. Okay, so that's about ready right there. And we have our plate. So you typically season after it's all cooked versus while it's open? Yeah, you can do it both ways. Now, typically with omelets, mm. I simply season right after it's cooked, okay? And so we got the Alvi's Incredible here. One of the ones we really love is the Mexican on omelets and eggs. Oh, it's so it's good. It's really good. It tastes so southwestern. And then there you go. It's a really simple omelet. And you yeah. can do that with a smaller pan. In fact, I recommend if you have it. This is my, like, literally my only nonstick pan that's not all hacked up right now. Uh, but if you have a smaller nonstick pan, and especially a nice new one, or has a nice finish on it, it's gonna make your job a lot easier. So there you go. We're gonna do some more breakfast. As time goes on, I have a lot of good tips about hash browns and different things like that, so. And where can we find the, the Alvies and Oh yeah, the, you can always go to savethedayseasonings.com. If you do know a kitchen consultant or have one in your area, uh, then you can search for one on there and please use our kitchen consultants because that's how our consultants are earning their uh, their commissions right now because there's no events going on. Yes, thank uh, you. It's a big part of our uh, our income is our events, but certainly your support is greatly appreciated. Go to savethedayseasonings.com or find your nearest kitchen consultant's website. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.